Hi, I'm Carrie Cotter. And I'm Rachel Petrie. And we're both rising seniors at Washington and Lee University. This summer, we are working with Dr. David Marsh in the biology department, and we are studying a rare species of salamanders called the Big Level Salamander. And we study these salamanders in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We're specifically interested in the potential effect that climate change and global warming could have on these salamanders since they are located at the very top of the mountain. Normally, when temperatures increase, species will move their range northward or move upslope higher in the mountains. If a species lives on the top of a mountain, it's basically stuck there. There's nowhere for it to go. And so mountaintop species are considered particularly at risk from climate change. This species turns out to be related to a southern species. So we have reason to think that it might be warm adapted based on its evolutionary history. On the other hand, we have reason to think it might be cold adapted based on where it lives now on the top of this mountain. And so our goal is to find out whether this is a warm adapted species that would be fine with warmer temperatures or whether it's a cool adapted species that would be threatened by warmer temperatures. We have two different sites, one at a low elevation and one at a high elevation. This the site has 144 cover objects, which are rocks or logs or these boards, which we actually placed and set down to set up the whole research area when we were freshmen and we took field herpetology with Dr. Marsh. We didn't really know what we were doing at the time and now we kind of kick ourselves sometimes because we put these huge rocks in the middle of thickets like this. We check under each of these cover objects for the presence of salamanders. <laughs> Oh, nothing. Nope, just a few bugs. Gross, it's yeah, big it is. Oh, okay, I found one. Um, he's a big levels salamander, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in the bag and measure him. Um, I can tell by looking at him that he's going to be a little too small to mark um, because we don't mark the um, juvenile salamanders, but I'm going to put him in this bag so he's easier to measure. And we do a snout to vent measure of the salamanders um, and the snout is just the tip of their nose and the vent is the egg sac. Sometimes we tag them if they're big enough with elastomer but this guy is too small. So what we do is we just take him and under the cover objects we find, we just kind of set him down and we let him go back to his little habitat under there. If we flip over a rock or a board or a log and we find a salamander, we look at its stomach and see if it has um, a neon elastomer mark. And if it has that, we know we've already found it. So if we were finding the same salamander over and over again, that would probably just, I would show that our results are kind of skewed. We also take temperature readings um, and get soil samples to measure the moisture. Whenever we get back from the mountain, we come into the lab and we weigh our soil samples to try to figure out how much moisture there is in the ground. We record the weight of the soil when it's wet and then we put it in the oven over there. We keep these in here for three days and we come back and whenever we measure them, all the water will have evaporated so we'll know how much moisture there was in the soil. It gives us a better idea of the habitat that they like. This is potentially one of the rarest animal species in North America, um, and so we really need to get a handle on what the threats are to this species, and we think climate change might potentially be one of those major threats.